Welcome to Summer of Dreams for part two of building a bag. This bag that I'm making actually has two main sections. There's a laptop section in the back of it and then a main front pocket where you know, most things will go. And there's a partition in between them and that's what I'm making here. There's actually a pocket on this partition and this brown leather is going to become that pocket. And this leather is very similar to the exterior uh, weight wise, but obviously the color, I wanted to have a little bit of contrast, but you actually don't see it from the outside at all. It's only on the inside of the bag. The pocket design is something I basically took from an Ian Atkinson video where he has a messenger bag that he makes a very similar pocket to this. And I think it's a very useful design, very versatile, but it's also sort of easy to make. It's only a single piece of leather and it offers a pretty good amount of storage for the size of it.
So there the partition is all done and you can see the pockets. They actually work really well. I'm, I'm really happy with the way they came out. The rest of this video, I just do a little bit more work on the front panels of the bag, the pocket and yeah, the very front panel. And I'm gonna talk plenty more about how this is coming together in just a minute. At this point, I'd like to quickly discuss a little bit about my methodology and what I'm doing here. Uh, it may be kind of hard to tell, and so I'm just going to explain a little bit about my thinking uh, as far as the next few steps of this bag. Actually, let me recap a little bit. I've got these pieces. This is everything that I've got done so far. Um, these are some gussets that I'll have to explain, probably not even at this point. They're going to be a little later in the build. Uh, this is the partition that's actually going to be in sort of the middle of the bag. Um, in front of this is going to be where the main pocket of the bag is, and so this, these pockets here are going to be uh, accessible uh, right at the front of the bag. And this, this piece here is the back of the bag. So this is the inside, this will be the bottom right here, this is the back of the bag, and then these are the flaps that close the top of the bag, and these are the connection points for the main backpack straps that will go over your shoulders, and this is obviously the carrying handle. So what I'm putting together here is the front of the bag. This is the front panel. and. If you look at this shape, this is the bottom of the bag right here, and this is the inside of the bottom right there. So if you can imagine, this is the front. The front piece is gonna go, it's actually not gonna go around here, it's gonna, it's gonna go along here, and then around, and like that. And then these are actually the connection points for the lower strap, or the lower connection points for the straps that connect here going to connect there. Anyway, so this is going to wrap all the way around the front edge and I'm going to have a pocket on the front of the bag right here and these, so these are actually the connection points for the straps that are going to close the top flap. So they're going to attach to this. There's going to be some straps that are uh, attached to these. There will be these straps here, so they're going to be attached to these flaps and this is going to hook in to like this one right here. Okay, sort of makes sense. So what I'm doing right now, uh, first I had to lay out these holes. So all I've done for layout on the front, I found this is the center mark. It's going to be covered by the pocket. Um, so this is the center mark of the front of the bag and this is the bottom edge of what I'm going to glue as far as the pocket goes. It's the very bottom edge. Uh, these holes are all just, I, I did my best. It was difficult, to be honest, like quite tough to locate these holes, where they were going to be in just sort of in this plane. Uh, you have to find reference points, and so I'm going from the center, and I'm going from the edges, and uh, from the bottom up, and all that. So finding these was pretty difficult, but at this point, is there something under here? No. Uh, at this point, uh, I just have the rivets shoved in here. They're not actually done up yet. Uh, so you can see they're, they're just sticking up here. This is actually gonna be the closure for the pocket, for the front pocket itself. 
And these, like I said, they're the the buckles, I guess, for the main flaps that are gonna cover the top of the bag. And then this piece here, this is actually the pocket. Well this is the this is the back and top flap and bottom sort of. It's hard to explain. This is backwards. Like this. Yeah, that makes more sense. So this is the bottom, sits like that, and this is the top. It's gonna flap over just like that. And this strap will will close it. So this is difficult, this is complicated because uh, the way this is gonna sit is that it's actually gonna cover part of all of these straps. So this one will be partially covered and, and I think just one rivet will show on either of these, which means that I have to do all of this connection, these attachments first before I can put the pocket on. Uh, the pocket's complicated because I'm gonna have to do the bottom of the pocket, I'm gonna have to attach that first and then when I put the front on the pocket, because the, the front just comes around like this, um, when I put the front on, there's gonna be a seam that goes across or down the sides. And so I can't, I can't stitch that right now because then there's nowhere for the front flap to attach to. So there's gonna be a piece that goes on top of this and then I'm gonna stitch that through this into this. I don't know if that made sense, but you can see that there's a process of, there's a procedure that has to be done because you can't, I can't like, I can't attach this pocket and then go and put these rivets in because it's covered, it's not accessible. At least not easily. Some of it would be technically accessible, but um, the other thing is I want to stitch these. Just for aesthetic purposes, I'm going to stitch around these rivets. So it's going to look neat, but of course it's just more extra work. There's, a, there's going to be a stitch line across here. That's going to line up, it's going to be a quarter inch from this line. It's going to, there's going to be a stitch right here. How I'm going to lay this down so that the stitch line that, you know, supposedly there will be a stitch line drawn on here will match up with the stitch line drawn on here. And of course there's going to be glue on both because they have to be glued together first. So I'm going to just, I'm going to have to just lay this down at exactly the right spot, like precisely the right spot. And that's, that's the real challenge here. That's going to be the most difficult component of, of this part of the bag is somehow locating where this pocket goes. So uh, I think that covers pretty much everything for now.